Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to solve some of the problems on classical mechanics. Okay. Before going to start, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel for upcoming videos. So let us start here. First question: An object dropped from sky follows the motion x equal to one divided by two g t square. Then the acceleration of the body, as we can see here. the object is dropped from the sky so it is uh, moving towards the ground so its acceleration is not going to change it is going to be constant so the option b is correct here it means constant so the next lagrangian for a particle of mass m in an electromagnetic field is given by so lagrangian l is equal to what uh, kinetic energy minus potential energy t minus v so here in electromagnetic field uh, yeah, the equation has been given 1 divided to m x dot square plus y dot square plus z dot square Ch uh, if it is in electromagnetic field then charge is important here q phi as a function of x y z comma t and q vector a potential that is uh, as a function of uh, all the three coordinates into v potential energy so this is kinetic energy and this term acts as a potential energy so the momentum conjugate to x is so using this formula we can calculate the conjugate momentum the answer for this question is m x dot plus q a x then next question the lagrangian equation of a motion of a simple pendulum this is quite uh, similar uh, you can just uh, try to find out the equation for a simple pendulum so here option a is correct here theta double dot is equal to minus g by e sin theta so this is the equation for a simple pendulum uh, for lagrangian equation of motion so the next one let e and p be the energy and momentum of a relativistic particle with rest mass so as we know einstein's uh, mass and energy relation so for relativistic particle it is given by option a e square is equal to p square c square plus m square c to the power 4 so 14th one rotation of a vector in x y plane about the z axis is represented by 2 cross 2 rotation matrix what is the trace of the matrix so here they have given rotation of a vector plane x y about z axis which is represented by 2 cross 2 rotation matrix so trace